Good morning from me, B. This morning I'm going to talk about tolerance. It's very easy when we are in that space of focus, we're motivated, we are in a place of which we know there is more, we're determined to get it, we're driving ourselves forward, we have that target, we have that port, we have that destination. It's great having all of that, but you need to be aware of tolerance. Now, what do I mean by this? We have, well, let's just go back a bit. Well, many years ago when I left the military, I worked for a company that are now owned by BP. And they built something called the Bunker System, designed by a guy called Chris Lee Jones and Chris, I forget his second name, apologies. Now they created this bunker system which allowed, or well, when large shipping containers refilled in foreign destinations, there was a tolerance level of the amount of fuel that went into that tanker that they were paying for and seawater. Because it was known, depending on the country that you resupplied your fuel in, that some countries would pump either lesser fuel or seawater into your tanks and charge you for fuel. So they designed and created a product which went on to create a very healthy lifestyle for them and opportunities and growth and development later of which I believe they sold to BP, that company. But when I was working there, a very good relationship with Chris, and we were speaking about it, and I said, well, what, you know, what is it? He said, well, there's always gonna be some pollution. There's always gonna be something in there that should not be there. So what we do is we allow those companies to pay for their fuel based on an acceptable industry-wide tolerance of seawater versus or water versus fuel. Now the same thing happens with us in society. It's almost like we've just accepted an, an off-the-shelf bunker system. But the thing is, we're not the same ship. You and I are not the same ship. We are not the same vessel. We are not going to the same port. We do not need the same fuel. Therefore, our fuel our motivation, our drive, our passion has very different tolerance levels. Now for some, an off the shelf tolerance meter, bunker system is okay. But I'm suspecting that if you're watching this video, you're looking for things, you're seeking out things, then the bunker system, off the shelf, the tolerance margins are not acceptable for you and they shouldn't be. We go about, or the mass majority of individuals go about their day just accepting what they're being told and working within those margins, within that level of tolerance. Well, we shouldn't. Let's rein in that tolerance level. Remain flexible, but do not accept what you're taking in as seawater. You need the fuel, you need the drive, you need the passion, you need the energy. Our actions are just, just the byproduct of energy. It's simple, it's undisputed. Our actions are the byproduct of energy, whether it be the food that we intake converted into glucose used by the muscles and then projected, whether it be the healthy fats that is used, stores within the brain or utilized by the brain to grow, develop, to replenish, whether it be the protein that we take in to repair the muscles, whether it be a belief, a religious belief externally that we take in and we use that as a passion or drive, it's all energy. We're just converting that energy in a way of which best suits us. The problem for the majority of people is they're not filtering the fuel. They're not filtering what they're accepting in. They're just accepting. They're just allowing whatever is projected onto us to be the truth. I hate the term because where it has come from, fake news. But we need to start questioning everything. Not in terms of the projections of marketeers attempting to sell, not from politicians attempting to get us to vote, not from radicalists trying to get us to believe in their way of working, their faith. We are not looking at fake news in that respect. We are looking at what we are freely accepting into ourselves, what our tolerance levels are through choice. We are the byproduct of what we freely accept into ourselves. It's as simple as that. We accept thick, gloopy, 
fuel byproduct is thick, gloopy action. If you accept free flowing, good energy, paying for what you deserve, then that's what you're going to get. That's going to be your byproduct. If you're accepting contaminated fuel, you know what the byproduct of that is. I'm sure you've heard of the analogy half empty, half full, but there's a major flaw in that. If, for example, you have a glass that is full of murky water and you empty some out and you put in some clean water, the water is still murky. You need to completely empty the glass, rinse it, clean it, decontaminate, then fill with pure water. And then it doesn't matter if the water or the glass is half empty, half full, full to the brim, it's crystal clear. So the invitation today is just to think about or decide for yourself how you want to set up your filter system. What you are doing right now, today, to ensure that you're not polluted by what you're taking in. What is your tolerance? Where are your tolerances? What are you prepared to accept into self based on your own bunker system? So, that's it from me, B. I'm going to get a haircut and go to the barbers. I will catch up with you tomorrow. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment in the description below. For now, peace out, be safe.